this is Pedego's new trike or tricycle and basically what it allows you to do is enjoy riding an electric bike but in a very upright position in a way that you don't have to worry about falling over sideways so uh, I think this is you know kind of being marketed towards people who may not have as much balance or may not want to go as fast um, but still want to get around and, and you know be able to carry some stuff along with them go to the grocery store uh, and it's just a lot of fun so I'm gonna quickly go over the the different components that make this thing go and we'll take it for a test ride so starting out uh, when you when you mount this thing there's a quick release you can move the seat up or down so that you can get your legs in just the right position and you'll notice that the pedals are way out front so when you're riding this thing it's kind of like sitting in a recliner uh, feels really good and it's even got that backrest which is just I don't know it kind of kind of eases the eases the pressure um, on your lower back and gives you a just a more relaxed seating position. Um, you'll notice on the handlebars here we've got one brake and this has an electronic trigger so it'll shut off the motor. If you get going fast you, you pull that brake it, it uh, activates these V-brakes up here and it shuts the motor off so that's that's a good kind of safety feature. Over here on the right you've got a twist throttle and it's on right now. All you have to do to turn this bike on is first of all put the key in and turn it to on. You actually have to leave the key in while you're riding, but it's kind of got this nice little folding feature here, so it's it kind of stays out of the way uh, for the most part. Once you've done that, once the bike's on, you just press this button and you'll see it light up, and then you twist, and off it goes, <laughs> except with you on it. Um, so this just it just doesn't get any simpler than that. I mean, there's there are no gears, um, there's just a single speed, and and when you pedal along. Um, you can ride this bike without any electric support, and it's a lot like those bikes of, of uh, our childhood where you pedal, there are no gears, and if you want to stop, you just you, you cram it backwards, um, which is kind of a cool feature, and it's just that, that instinct uh, that you might already have. And again, you've also got the handbrake, so there's just not a lot that can go wrong, and, and that includes tipping over because you'll see that you know it's a tricycle, basically. Everything is kept really low to the ground, and, and that includes your cargo space. Some other electric bikes have racks on the back that, that stick out, and you know they're a little bit higher. Not this bike. Everything's really low. And while we're on the subject of the different components, here's the battery. It is a 36 volt, 10 amp hour pack, and that's pretty standard. A lithium ion battery, um, which means it's going to get a lot of charge cycles. It's going to last a long time. It's, it's pretty light relative to lead acid or some of these other technologies. It's even got a little heat sink on there, which is cool, so it won't overheat. And then there's a chain drive motor right here. So, you know, this bike's going to be able to, to move you along and, um, and it, you know, fairly capable in terms of, of carrying things. Uh, you, along with your groceries or whatever you want to put back there, maybe your cute little dog. There's quite a bit of space back here. Um, and it's a plastic bucket with kind of a fiberglass, a painted fiberglass uh, shell here, uh, which looks really nice and uh, looks pretty, pretty rugged, pretty durable. The really cool thing uh, about the size that they chose here is that this will actually go through doors, and I've got a picture on the website of, of that kind of in action. The other thing I, I meant to mention while I was out riding, but I, I kind of forgot, is that it's got these fenders built in, which is super handy if it starts to rain. You're not yeah, going to get, yeah. get soaked or anything. And uh, yeah, it just makes for a pleasant ride. A couple of the other design elements I like is that they, you know, they incorporated a reflector back there. They've got a nice big reflector on the front. It doesn't come with lights or anything, but uh, you, know, you could fasten one right here to that front bar uh, and perhaps here and you know I'm not sure this is the kind of bike that you're gonna be riding late at night it's kind of an afternoon uh, get out around town and kind of cruise uh, one of the other things I, I like here is this this chain guard because you know if you've got pants on you don't want those to get caught in the chain or get greasy and you know really that's that's it this bike is um, it's pretty simple but it's got it's got got it where it counts right and it'll it'll get the job done so why don't we hop on and take it for a ride and, and show you what this is like. I'm just gonna push it. It's not terribly heavy or anything, it just kinda rolls. By the way, this is an aluminum frame, so they try to keep it pretty light, but any electric bike with the batteries and the motor and stuff, that kinda starts to add up. So it's not the kind of thing you'd really want to lift by yourself. So I'm just gonna start off pedaling. 
can see I'm kind of doing a circle here. Not a problem, like the bike's not tipping over. Uh, you, you would want to be kind of careful though, because if you were going fast and then you jerked it, um, I, mean, you, I guess you could still fall off the bike. It's not, uh, it, you know, it's, any bike will tip with the right circumstances, but you know, it's, I don't really even have to think about balance on this, which is nice. Okay, so I'm going into a strong headwind here. I'm having trouble pedaling. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the uh, motor. There we go. Whoa, and then I'm using the foot brake there. Very handy, and then we'll go back the other direction. There we go. Do some turns, whoa. There we go. Not bad. And actually, here's a hill. I'm gonna test going up that, up the hill. There we go, no problem. There you have it. <laughs> Try not to enjoy this thing. Ah. There we go. And you, you can see from the way that I'm seated here, uh, you know, it's it's not stressful. I'm just kind of leaning back, steering, not really worrying about it. And I, I think that's what they were going for. Whoa, when they made this. Oh, that's one thing. There are no shocks in this, but uh, you know, it does have those big tires that kind of help to absorb the bumps and even the seat is pretty wide and, and thick so uh, you know it's a fairly comfortable ride oh, for more pictures the full written review community comments and stuff check out electricbikerview.com see you there